Most people don't realize that most birds actually migrate at night. You can sometimes see the birds as they pass across the face of the moon, but otherwise it's really tough to see them. But there is one way that you can experience the migration of millions of birds. That's by listening. I use my nocturnal bird migration monitoring station, which I built with some inexpensive common supplies. Uh, a dinner plate with a hole drilled in it, a flower pot with the bottom cut out, and of course the most important part is simply put this little mic element through here, put it in a big flower pot, and some cloth over it so stuff doesn't fall in on it, and the microphone that you can plug it into something else, plug it into a speaker or into your computer. This setup amplifies the sounds of birds flying high overhead at night, sounds you might not hear or would be very faint. It's a little past 11 at night, sitting beside my homemade microphone. And when I go to bed tonight, since I'm not gonna stay up all night, leave this trusty microphone, the line that runs into the kitchen, into my computer and saving the files so that I can listen to them in the morning. So I'm here the morning after I put the mic out on the porch and listening to see what birds may have gone over. That's a, a wood thrush, kind of has a very, kind of a springy sound to it. Low in the spectrogram viewer compared to this warbler call up here. Definitely a warbler. And I just found an interesting one. Um, it's the first of the season for me for this bird, the Swainson's thrush. This is what they sound like. Swainson's thrushes are a bird that have most of their breeding range in the boreal forest. So this is a bird very likely headed up to uh, the boreal forest of Canada. Something very magical about just sort of sitting here and listening to the birds go over. A little hint of one of the greatest migrations on earth and anyone can experience it just stepping outside of their home.